day. Welcome grade 9 students. Today, you will learn the music of medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods with the code MU9LU-LA-2. This lesson will help you facilitate learning in analyzing the musical instruments of selected vocal and instrumental music of the first three periods of Western history, such as the medieval, the renaissance, and the baroque music. You will also have time to review and recall the elements of music that are considered fundamental learning key to better understand every piece of music. Always hear music everywhere. You can add enjoyment on listening songs by simply analyzing its characteristics. You learn in school. You also learn with the help of different learning materials which are provided to you by your teacher. In this lesson, you will learn activities that will help you analyze the elements of music of selected vocal and instrumental Western music. the end of the lesson, you are expected to number 1. Describe the musical elements of selected vocal and instrumental music of medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. Number 2. Explain the performance practice during medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. And number 3. Improvises appropriate accomplishment to selected music from medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. Let's have a quick assessment in our topic. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's incorrect. Write your answer on a piece of paper. In this part, it will help you describe and explain the musical elements of selected vocal and instrumental music of the first three era of Western music. Let's have a short recap on the deeper knowledge about the elements of music and its components. Are you ready? Rhythm, notes of different durations that are organized into patterns. Melody. A sequence of single notes, the main and the most prominent line or voice in a piece of music. Form. 
This is the overall structure of a musical composition. Songs could be in a simple and complex form. Timbre refers to the quality of sounds. It may differ from the size and materials and classification of instruments. Dynamics It refers to the softness and loudness of a sound. It adds effect to the composition and usually coordinate with emotion or theme of a song. Tempo refers how fast or slow rhythm is. Series of notes and rest create the tempo of the song. It may be fast or slow. Texture describe the relationship of lines also known as voices within a piece. It is a combination of rhythm, harmony, and melody. Harmony the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes. Now that you have a much clearer view of the elements of music, let's proceed to the another part of the lesson. On this part, I want you to listen to the following given music and after listening to the selection, identify the characteristic of the given composition based on the elements of music reviewed. Write your answer on a piece of paper. Let's get started. Listen very carefully.
was great. You can now easily identify the elements of music. Moving forward, let's proceed to our next topic which is the medieval music. In this part of the lesson, it presents the historical development of Western music from medieval period, renaissance, and baroque period. The social-cultural and historical background of each period will be discussed together with its musical development. Medieval Period 450 to 1450. Medieval music was an era of Western music, including sacred music used for the church and secular music and non-religious music. In this era, the musical activity was dominated by the Roman Catholic Church. Gregorian chant or sacred music. Did you know? that Gregorian chant was named after Pope Gregory I who made this the only approved sacred music of Roman Catholic Church for over 1,000 years. We have different characteristics of Gregorian chant. Number one is the monophonic. Monophonic means typically sung by a single singer or played by a single instrument player. Free meter music means free flowing. This is used when a piece of music has no discernible beat. In the theory of a Western music, a modal music is a type of musical scale coupled with a set of characteristic melodic behaviors. Musical modes have been a part of Western musical through since the Middle Ages and were inspired by the theory of ancient Greek music. Latin liturgy, also known as the traditional Latin Mass, is the Roman Rite Mass of the Catholic Church. It appears in typical editions of the Roman Missal published from 1570 to 1962. And the last one, Gregorian chant is based on a new notation, means it is the basic element of Western and Eastern system of musical notation prior to the invention of five-line staff notation. They also have the so-called troubadour music. Troubadour were poet musicians who were highly skilled in mentoring with elder troubadours to learn songs and techniques. They have also songwriting rules which they had to follow. They could quickly write new poems to reflect current situations at the court. Let us hear a sample of a troubadour music. Characteristic of a troubadour music, they are monophonic. Topics include love, chivalry, honor, war, political satire, and high ideals, and originated in France. We have a famous composer during the medieval period, Adam de la Hale, also known as Adam Lebouzou, 
1240 to 1287. He was a French-born trouver, poet, and musician. Adam's literary and musical works include chansons and group parties in the style of troubadours. A musical play, Jeu de Rubin et Marion, is considered the earliest surviving secular French play with music. The next era is the Renaissance period, 1450 to 1600s. Renaissance comes from the word renaitre, which means rebirth. During this time, the society shifted from sacred orientation to secular orientation. Renaissance music became popular entertainment and activity for amateurs and educated. Lute was the prominent instrument of the Renaissance era. Influence of the Catholic Church declined as new music genre arose. This era was also known as the Golden Age for Capella choral music. Other historical facts during this era, the actual position of the Earth in the solar system by Copernicus. The invention of the compass creating a wider navigation not only for the lands but also for the oceans. And Martin Luther's Protestant Reformation. The characteristic of Renaissance music, mostly polyphonic, imitation of the voices is common. Use of word painting in text and music. Melodic lines move in a flowing pattern. Melodies are easier to perform because these move along a scale with a few large lips. Vocal music. Mass is a sacred music. The setting of the music is either polyphonic or in plain chant of the liturgy of the Eucharistic. We have five sections of the Mass. Kyrie, Lord have mercy upon us. Gloria, glory be to thee. Credo, I believe in one God, the Father. Sanctus, Holy, Holy, and Agnus Dei, the Lamb of God. Let us listen to the music that features one of the main sections of the Mass, Gloria by Joaquin de Perez. Now that we have learned about the vocal music and the five sections of the Mass, let us move on to the secular music, which is the Madrigal. 
madrigals are unaccompanied. The number of voices varies from 2 to 8 and mostly frequently from 3 to 6. The topics of the madrigals were usually about love. Characteristic of a madrigal are the following. It's usually polyphonic, sung in a cappella, true composed and frequently in 3 to 6 voices. We have famous composer of Renaissance era, Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina, 1525 to 1954. He is the greatest master of Roman Catholic church music in Renaissance period. Majority of his works are sacred music. His career reflects his commitment to the music of the church, received an early training and spent majority of his life in church. He was an organist and choir master in Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. The next composer is Thomas Morley, 1557 to 1602, an English composer, jurist, singer, and organist of Renaissance period, one of the foremost member of the English Madrigal School, one of the most famous composer of secular music in Elizabethan, England. He was also the composer of the surviving contemporary settings of verse by Shakespeare. Let us now hear some of their greatest work. Kyrie by Palestrina and April is in my mistress face by Morley. Did you enjoy Renaissance music? Now let's take a closer look to the next era which is the Baroque period. Baroque music is a heavily ornamented style of music that came out of Renaissance. Baroque derived from the Portuguese word Barroco which means pearl of irregular shape. Important features of Baroque music are the following. Focus on upper and lower tone. Focus on layered melodies and increase in orchestra size. Music in Baroque are grandiose and elaborate in ornamentation. We have the characteristic of a Baroque music. Melodies and sound elaborate and ornamental. Melodies are not easily to sing or remember, and primarily contrapuntal textures with some homophony. Dynamic contrast, softness and loudness of music. Music genre, we have the opera, oratorios, suite, toccatas, concerto grosso, and few. Orchestra consists of string and continuo. Hapsichord and organ are the keyboard instruments that are commonly used, 
and we have the new forms, the binary, ternary, ground base, and fugue. Music genre of the Baroque music. Concerto, mostly understood as an instrumental composition written for one or more soloists accompanied by an orchestra or other ensembles. Concerto Grosso, it is an instrumental form involving two groups of performers, the concertino featuring a small group of soloists accompanied by an orchestral. Oratorio, based on a text of religious or serious characters performed by solo voices, chorus, and orchestra, similar to the opera but without costume, scenery, or acting. Fugue, a contrapuntal compositional technique in two or more voices built on a musical theme. Crowd sung by congregation during the protestant liturgy unison singing was the rule of the reformed churches let us now listen to some of the music genre of baroque music
Now that you've heard the different genre of Baroque music, let us now discuss the famous composers during the Baroque era. Famous composers of the Baroque era, we have Johann Sebastian Bach of 1685 to 1750. He is the last child of city musician Islak. Orphan at age 10, he lived for five years with his eldest brother and died of complications of eye surgery in 1750 at age of 65. His famous compositions were Toccata and Fugue in D minor, Cantata in 208 and 211, and Mass in B minor. Antonio Lucio Vivaldi 1678 to 1741 An Italian Baroque musical composer, virtuoso, violinist, teacher, and Roman Catholic priest. One of the greatest Baroque composer, composed instrumental concertos, and best known work concerto is the Four Seasons. George Friedrich Handel 1685-1759 second son of the second marriage of the pastor. At age of seven, he gained access to church organ and started to play. A duke insisted him to give a formal music education. He studied counterpoint, canon, and few. He became the England's best composer, and his famous creation was the Hallelujah and Messiah. Now, let's see how well you've learned the different musical periods. Can you do the first independent assessment?
after doing and learning the different assessments and activities, I want you to answer the next part. Excellent class! Are you ready for the last part? Let's go! Now for your additional activity, I want you to do the research. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something new. This is Mom Cha, together with my partner, Mom Rose Ann, from Olongapo City. Bye!